what's going on, Dub Nation? This is Ace. And I'm Amanda. Together, we are two Dub Nation. We are here at the classic Nissan of Texoma. Yes. <laughs> Did I say it right? <laughs> sort of. Texoma. Huh? Texoma. Yes, yes. That's a hard word for me. Well, we're here doing some preventive maintenance on our, what, the nuts. On um, the nuts. So what we need to get done. Um, we're getting, we have a slight leak in our front differential, so we're getting that fixed and we've already had a sensor replaced and an oil change. Yeah. Hopefully that'll be it, at least yep. until next year. We will have to get some yep. new tires probably <laughs> then, yep. but. Fingers. Yeah, as long as we get some preventive maintenance, this truck will run for a little while, so mm -hmm. let's go nuts. What are you doing? Making me some coffee. The first appointment here at the dealership today, and it was at eight o'clock, and I got up at like a little after seven. So, no makeup, barely have my hair done, and I need coffee. It took about 45 minutes to get the differential, the front and the back work, and now we're heading to Camping World. Let's go. Amanda, where we at? We're at Camping World. We gotta get some sealant for mom and dad. It's been raining where they're at. We're actually gonna go visit them for Thanksgiving. And they're kind of, they're in the hill country and so they're kind of a few hours away from anything. So we're gonna pick them up some sealant. Found the Dicor lap sealant for mom and dad that we're gonna be taking. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Um, what this does is it self levels, but it creates a seal around like your lap bands and stuff on the top of your roof. So it's kind of like caulking, but it levels itself out and seals around the um, gaskets and everything. And this is exactly what they needed. We wanted some breakfast and we don't really get Chick-fil-A breakfast that often, so why not? Yummy Chick-fil-A. That's Amanda's <laughs> favorite. My favorite item here at Chick-fil-A would be the chicken menu. The only time they serve it is during breakfast and that's pretty much to cut it off at 10. And this is my favorite item. And we got some tater tots to go with it. And ooh, you want one here? Feed the monster. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> and lemonade. We already had the coffee for today so we're getting some lemonade. It's a little nippy out here. Breakfast was a success. That was yummy in my belly. We decided to get some breakfast in because we know we're going on a little shopping spree at your neighborhood Walmart. Walmart is one of our go-to places because we need RV toilet paper and Walmart is the cheapest and one of the few places that actually carry RV toilet paper that isn't one ply. Don't like that one ply, but ribbon. Barbie juice. <laughs> Why is it Walmart is so busy? Let me know. Hit a comment down below. One of my favorite berries, raspberry. I like it with tagine. Mmm, yummy. Manda Wanda, what's the fun part about grocery shopping? Eating? <laughs> no, put in your boy. Don't be silly. That's not the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> they love it. That is not the fun part. Eating it is the fun part. Welcome to the first episode of Cooking in the Birdhouse 2.0. <laughs> Ace's favorite thing is the Stouffer's lasagna. And apparently he got the biggest one that they had when we went to the grocery store. And I'm just hoping this one fits in our little oven. This is the first time we're going to cook in our oven in the rig. And we're going to test it out. 
Um, we've gotten ones before that uh, you can partially thaw out in the microwave and then finish it off in the oven. But this one is so big it came in a tin foil pan. So it's going to take a while to cook. It's a little tricky with this oven to get it lit. And it's small, but it works. All right. Tell us what you're doing. Okay, so our oven, you have to turn it to ignite, and then it has a little igniter. And this sucker does not want to light, so hopefully it works. Now it's lit. We gotta let it warm up. We are going to let the oven heat up at 400 degrees and it's going to take about an hour and a half total time to cook this big old lasagna but we'll probably get three meals off of it. Damn. So it took about an extra 30-ish minutes in this oven. I'm not sure why. Maybe because it was just frozen. It didn't look right, but now it looks nice and toasty and golden on the top. So we're going to let it cool while we make a Caesar salad. I want some veggies. Damn, that looks like school cafeteria lasagna to me. Yeah. We got a Caesar salad kit from Walmart and it had like uh, breadcrumbs and Parmesan and spices and the dressing already in it. And I've been wanting some salad so we're going to have our salad while the lasagna cools. Once in a while we like to fancy it up. So this meal is brought to you by the maker of La Croix. <laughs> Crap. You fancy like that. Cheers. Okay, we put some extra Parmesan cheese on top just because we can. And, ooh, look at the steam coming off of that bad boy. Stouffer's lasagna. Oh, meal was delicious. Finally, I got all the dishes done. Excuse me? You got all the dishes done? <laughs> you got all the dishes done. <laughs> you. People don't need to know that. Well, this is Ace. And Amanda. Reminding you. Keep sewing. Tune in. Ow! Caw, caw, caw.